of God, most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to God, Lord of the universe. He is the one and only God, the absolute God. Never did he beget, nor was he begotten. None equals him. O oh, people of the scripture, let us come to a logical agreement between us and you that we shall not worship except God, that we never idolize any human beings beside God. If you turn away, then bear witness that we are submitters. If you refuse to accept this invitation, then bear witness that we only submit to the Lord of the universe, the creator of all things. O oh, children of Adam, our God is one and the same God. There is no other God beside God. And those who are tearing us into pieces between religions, sects, and denominations do not belong with God. They belong with their business establishments. They belong with their egos. The only religion acceptable to God is the religion of Abraham. He is the one who called us all submitters. Submission to Almighty God without hesitation, without reservation. In uh, chapter 42, verse number 13, Almighty God says, he decreed for you the same religion, decreed for Noah, and what we inspire to you, Muhammad, and what we decreed for Abraham, Moses and Jesus, you shall uphold this one religion and do not divide it. You shall uphold this one religion and do not divide it. Now look at us, all these religions, as if all these religions, monotheistic religions and so on and so forth are not enough, then uh, there have sects, denominations with it, division within division. Of course, God says the idol worshippers will greatly resent what you invite them to do. Who are these idol worshippers? These are the religious leaders. Because if we all become united in the name of God, they go out of business. The idol worshippers will greatly resent what you invite them to do. God redeems to himself whomever he wills. He guides to himself only those who totally submit. Our religion, our God is one and the same. Our religion is one and the same. These are all man-made innovations and fabrications. They have nothing to do with, the, with Almighty God and His messengers who delivered one and the same message that the Lord, our God, is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. He delivered one and the same message. But then uh, every, every time God sends a messenger after the messenger is go gone, and uh, some of these big egos, they don't want to be just followers. They don't want to follow the truth that was revealed through the messenger of God. They want to be leaders, so what they do, they come up with their own innovations and fabrications. They add things to what was said, and they take out a lot here and there. And uh, then you look at these religions, they have absolutely no resemblance to what was espoused, advocated by God's messengers. Today... Uh, is the first day of the month of Ramadan. 
It's a glorious month, is a month during which the Quran was sent down. My job in the United States of America is to tell Americans, America, this is the chosen country of our time. You are the people. This Quran is God's gift to you. And depending on how you deal with the Quran, God is going to deal with you. Disasters have spread throughout the land and sea for what the people have committed. Uh, this is not one of those cases that uh, uh, you just can do what you can do and get away with it. Almighty God says he's going to show you so many signs until you totally become convinced that this is the truth. So it's up to you, individuals. Of course, Almighty God says you shall not accept any information unless you verify it for yourself. He's given us the hearing, the eyesight, and the brain, and we're responsible for using them. So uh, get involved, God willing. Get involved. Uh, in anything in life, we want to do anything. We have to study. We have to. You have to want to buy a car. You got to do a lot of research. You want to buy a house. Uh, research. You want to choose a career. You have to do a lot of research. Look, you want to find a way to God. You have to find. Uh, you have to try to find the true way, and the true way is a direct way. Go directly to God without going through this, that, and the other. To prove, uh, because God says, don't believe anything unless you verify it. You have to have proof. I said, this is country. This is the country. I said, this is the time. Let's look at some of the proofs. America was born on 4-19-1775. April 19, 1775, revolution started. 4-19. On 4-19-1993, in Waco, Texas, elements of our government killed 76 people, 22 of whom were children. On 4 19 76 people, and 76 is 4 times 19. You may think that these are just simple issues, but why? Two years later, in 1995, which is 19 times 105, on 419, Timothy McVeigh, a misguided young man, disillusioned young man, committed the crime he committed. He blew up the federal building in Oklahoma City. 168 people were killed in that incident, of whom 19 were children. 19 is the code. 19 is the signature. That's why God has placed 19 pieces of bones in our hand. When we sign up, we are actually using God's signature. One and nine signifies the first and the last, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. 
one of the things that uh, Timothy McVeigh said, he had said that if he knew there was going to be a nursery in that building, he would have changed his target. He never regretted what he did, unfortunately. But the only regret he had was that he didn't know there's a nursery in that building. Precisely 19 children got killed. How many times do we want to see this 19 and 19 before we submit that things are really under control? Someone is doing this. In chapter 57, verse number 22, Almighty God says, Anything that happens on earth or to you has already been pre-recorded even before the creation. This is easy for God to do. It's already pre-recorded. On September 11th, we had four aircrafts, 19 hijackers. Four aircrafts, 19 hijackers. 419 again. If the terrorists who committed the crime they committed, they knew what I know, they wouldn't do what they did. They were misguided, they were brainwashed by some of the these devils, mostly elderly. They brainwash these kids to go ahead and get themselves killed and commit, commit crimes. We're doing it to our own children too, don't we? Sending our kids to war, making them heroes, wars, wars, wars. What's the difference between those who are wearing those uh, suicide uh, belts and our kids. Military, 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 industrial complex. Industry. If becoming heroes is so good, if becoming martyr is so good, why don't the elders, the older guys, take advantage of the opportunity and become martyrs? and become heroes. What I say to you is all the pieces are coming together because the time has arrived. Pope Benedict XVI he was inaugurated on 419, 2005. When he resigned, 30 days later, Pope Francis was chosen. 30 days, and 30 is the 19th composite number. Prime numbers are numbers that they're divisible by themselves and number one. And composite numbers are divisible by other numbers as well. The first composite number is number four. 30 days later, this new Pope Francis was elected. And how old is Pope Francis? 76 years old, four times 19. And he is the 266 Pope, and 266 is 19 times 14. That is, what is so incredible about this is that 266 is the length of pregnancy. If you go to Langman Embryology, 5th edition, page 88, 
you read that the length of pregnancy from the fertilization of the egg, not the onset of previous menstruation, fertilization of the egg is 266 days, which is 19 times 14, 38 weeks, 19 times 2. Is uh, the new pope perhaps the last pope? The length of pregnancy? Is the baby ready to be delivered? Last year, the Mayan calendar, that was supposed to be the end of the world. But look at this. This is a new page in human history. And for the first time in the history, a pope is chosen from other than Europe, from America, this side of the world where the Mayans lived at one time. Pope Francis was uh, inaugurated on 319. 319, March 19th, he was inaugurated. If we go to, uh, to the Quran, chapter 3, verse 19, Almighty God says, The only religion approved by God is submission. Ironically, those who have received the scripture are the ones who dispute this fact. Despite the knowledge they have received due to jealousy. For such rejecters of God's revelations, God is most strict in reckoning. The only religion Approved by God is submission. And Abraham was the one who called us submitters. All these religions, the minute you put a name of something or some place next to a religion, that religion is not God's religion anymore. It belongs to other than God. It's not God's religion anymore. Any name you put next to it. The only religion, religion is the religion of Abraham. Strict monotheism. Monotheism. You cannot be a monotheist and put a name of a person next to that religion. The first revelation revealed to Prophet Muhammad were the five verses of chapter 96, a chapter which is the 19th chapter from the end of the Quran. The total number of the letters in these five verses is 76, four times 19. Read in the name of your Lord who created. He created man from an embryo. Read and your Lord most exalted teaches by the means of the pen. He teaches man what he never knew. This first verse, read in the name of your Lord who created, is the fulfillment of a prophecy made through Moses. If you go to Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 18 and 19, you read that God says, I shall raise you up a prophet from among your brethren, your cousins, like unto thee, like you. And I shall put my words into his mouth. I shall put my words into his mouth. In other words, this fellow is not going to speak his own words, but he is going to say the things he's going to hear. 
And this was exactly prophesied by Jesus. I will discuss these things later on in John. As much as they have tried to con conceal information and corrupt the scripture, God has kept still enough information. And if we be sincerely seeking the truth and find these pieces and put them together, the picture comes out. And in verse number 19, Deuteronomy chapter 18, 19, God says, And it shall come to pass, and it shall come to pass those who do not listen to my words, that he shall speak in my name. They have me to deal with. Their reckoning rests with me. The Quran is the only book that starts in the name of God. The Quran is the only scripture that starts in the name of God. The first verse in the Quran is Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. The first verse in the Quran is made of four words, 19 letters. America, America, the Quran is God's gift to you. The Quran is far beyond human fabrication. All the computers on earth, they are not going to be able to put together such an awesome text, mathematically perfect text. Yes, clear revelations without any ambiguity. None of the nonsense that you hear is committed in the so-called Muslim countries has nothing to do with the teachings of the Quran. Sharia law is not from the Quran. God Almighty says this Quran is a complete book, is a detailed book, Kitab and Mufassala. If anybody says I'm a Muslim and does not believe what God says in the Quran, then they're hypocrites, they're not Muslim. How can they be Muslim and then be in defiance? How can they be Muslim, a submitter to God, and be in defiance? You know, uh, when the Messiah says, the Lord, our God, is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength, if anyone be able to do that, completely submitting to the mighty God, by definition, that person is a submitter to God. In Arabic, means Muslim. But unfortunately, they made the religion so ugly that nobody wants to have anything to do with it. This is why it is so extremely important to understand the meaning. The meaning, rather than playing with words. In my next uh, presentation, I want to focus on number 266. Pope Francis is the 266th Pope, 19 times 14. Praise be to God. Lord of the universe.